Hey everyone, it's Kat from CloudApp. I'm going to quickly show you some basics of CloudApp and how to get started. So some of the things that we're gonna to cover today is how to take a screenshot, how to record your screen, ways to share the content that you create, what it looks like on the receiving end, and how to secure that content. So starting with the most basic screenshots, Command Shift 5 on Mac, Alt Shift 5 on Windows. So you can either do the shortcuts or you can also access the screenshots via the icon in the app. And as soon as you press it or do the shortcuts, you'll notice that the little crosshairs pop up. Select the area you wanna capture. And then a link to that file is gonna be automatically copied to your clipboard and saved straight into Cloud App. So none of this is gonna clutter up your desktop. So we'll watch it again, Command Shift 5, the crosshairs pop up. A link to the file is automatically copied to my clipboard and saved into Cloud App. So if I want to share, all I have to do is just Command V anywhere. Annotations are great. So if you decide that you want to annotate a screenshot, oops, I'll go back there, uh, before you want to upload it, instead of using Command Shift 5 to capture, try using Command Shift A or Alt Shift 0. You'll notice how the annotation window pops up immediately after you release, so you don't have to wait for it to upload. And from here, you can edit this however you'd like. You can add text. You can add emojis. You can add lines or squiggles or arrows. You can even blur out sensitive content. You press save. Again, a link is copied to your clipboard and saved into Cloud App. Annotations are a great way to get your point across to a customer or a teammate. Just show them exactly what you're seeing and what you want them to focus on. And then as soon as you're done with that, you press save. Again, automatically copied to your clipboard and saved into Cloud App. There's a couple different options of ways to record your screen, and we'll dive into that in a second. Both of those options, or I'm sorry, all three of those options, I should say, are accessible by the same shortcut. So that's Command Shift 6 for Mac and Alt Shift 6 for Windows. As soon as you press those shortcuts and select the area of your screen you want to record, very similar to how you would annotate or take a screenshot, this little window is going to pop up, and you get to determine how you'd like to record. So you can either take a GIF or you can take an HD video. And with HD video, you can toggle on and off sound. A lot of times we get asked when to use GIF and when to use HD. And something I always tell our users to keep in mind is that GIFs by nature will loop infinitely, which you might be sitting there like, yeah, duh, okay, that's why I would take a GIF. But before you take a GIF and send it to a customer, if it's like a 45 or 50 second long GIF, Whoever's watching, maybe they missed a second in, in the middle or at the beginning, they're gonna have to sit through that whole 50 second GIF just so they can rewatch one, one small part. So just something to keep in mind. With HD, you can start, you can pause, you can go back, you can jump forward. So we really, really do recommend reserving HD video for those longer recordings and GIFs for the short, short, short snippets. <laughs> so let's talk about some ways to share. I would say arguably the most popular method is pasting the link directly into Slack or HipChat. It's a really great way to show your team exactly what you're seeing as you're seeing it just via the link that's copied to your clipboard. So that's gonna automatically unfurl in Slack. So for example, Command Shift 6, you record the area of your screen you wanna record, you press Finish, and then you just Command V to paste in Slack, and Slack's gonna unfurl that right away. Alternatively, CloudApp also has a couple integrations that you can use that allows you to inject content straight into solutions you already use. 
So here's an example of our Zendesk integration, but we also have uh, integrations with Trello and Jira and always thinking of more to add to that list. Another way to share is just by dragging and dropping the content that you've created from the app itself. So if you've got a great GIF or a screenshot that you'd like to embed into an email, just open up your Cloud App app, drag the file by the thumbnail image, and drop into wherever you're sharing. And this also works in solutions like Google Docs or Google Slides or Keynotes. That's actually how I made these slides. We're finding that more and more people are moving away from bullet points or heavy text, and it's a great way to capture someone's attention. Especially because this, this GIF is going to start playing automatically right when the recipient opens their email. So it's going to save them the extra cl click and open in their browser if you choose to send a link versus embedding. So I do really recommend always embedding GIFs and screenshots when you, when you can. All right. If you're sending links or if you frequently send HD videos, which unfortunately are not embeddable, at least in email, uh, I wanna give you a quick heads up on how you can customize your account. So if you're on a free plan, this is what your links look like to your viewers. There's cloud app branding all over this page and it looks very much like it was created and shared with third party app, which it was, but we really want you to know that you can own the content and your brand on cloud app. You can customize this whole page, the logo, the short link, even the color of the background. If you're a new user on a team plan, make sure you ask your account admin to look into this for you and make sure the links you're sharing look like they're coming from, from you, especially if you're sharing them with customers or clients. Security. Sometimes we take screenshots or recordings of sensitive stuff, or maybe you're sending a time sensitive document to a prospective customer and you want that link to expire after a certain amount of time. You can actually password protect these links or share them specific, specifically with, with only a certain group of people. And on top of that, you can set the expiration settings. Last but not least, I'll leave you with a quick shortcut cheat sheet. If you've uh, got Cloud App open right now, you might take a quick screenshot of this and save it for later, or you can always find this in your preferences as well. And that's all I have for you guys. I uh, wanted to keep this short and sweet, so hopefully not overwhelming you with information, but we do have a, some time for questions. Um, after that, if you still have more questions or you feel like you didn't get the answers to what you were looking for, you can always find more info on www.getcloudapp.com or you can email me at cat at cl.ly. Hey Kat, so I have a couple questions from the panel. Um, first question is, for personal gifts of ourselves, I work in customer support and I use this feature to my advantage. I feel that it might be more useful in sales, for example. No, customer support uh, is a great, great opportunity to use this. Um, I think that role um, of all of them can sometimes be a little thankless. And, you know, you're dealing with uh, highly emotional situations sometimes. And it's a really great, great way to remind someone that uh, you're a human on the other end of it and you're going to do your best to help them out and really build that personal connection between yourself and the customer. Awesome. Um, the next question is, why does it look like a short link when I paste it after I created a GIF? Can I change that? That's a good question. Yeah, we do have a couple different options for um, what you can uh, default to in terms of what's copied to your clipboard after you capture something. Um, and those are located in your preferences. So uh, if you go up into Cloud App, click on your preferences, you can actually change the uh, copy default to either be the share link or copy the content or copy a direct link. So hopefully awesome. that answers your question, but if you need something more specific, I can shoot over a GIF of how to do that afterwards. So feel free to email me. Great. Um, so another question is, do I have to pay for branding? You sh showed us that screen with all those little pop-ups and ads on it. How do I get rid of those? 
Yeah, good question. Um, you can get rid of those by, uh, well, a couple different options. You can either upgrade to a pro account or you can also refer some friends. And every friend that you refer to Cloud App, you'll get both get a month free of our pro plan. So it's a good way to test it out without actually uh, biting the bullet and handing over any credit card information. <laughs> Great. And the last question is, how much is it if I want to be able to use Cloud App in Trello? Um, or Zendesk? Another great question. Um, those integrations are actually free right now. So feel free to test them out and let us know what you think. We're always looking for feedback and um, we're really excited about those. So we'd love to share in that enthusiasm with you. Great. That's all the questions uh, from the group. Awesome. Thanks everyone again for your time. Uh, feel free to email me. I love hearing from you guys. <laughs>